I lived in a little rental house uh, in Beechwood Canyon in LA, and it was in the shadow of this amazing huge castle that sat empty for a lot of years, and I heard that Moby had bought it, but I had never met him. And then one day, um, a guy was parking in my driveway, and um, he was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry, I'm trying to go to a housewarming party at your new neighbor's house, and um, he's like, if you let me park here, you can come to the party with me. And I'm like, you know, it's okay. I don't, I don't want to go to a stranger's party. But he was insistent. Like, he was like, just come, come for five minutes. So I, I would have let him park there anyways. But, um, but so I went to the party with him. Um, and that's how I first met Moby. And he was so friendly. Like, I was a little bit intimidated. Plus, I was, like, crashing my neighbor's party that I wasn't invited to. Um, but he was like, oh, you're my neighbor. Let's exchange emails. And um, he emailed me the next day and was like, hey, um, would you like to come over for tea? And he knew that I was a singer songwriter. And I think the first time I came over for tea, he was like, um, he had a guitar right there. He was like, play me something you're working on. I mean, I think my hands were shaking. I was going to say, how nervous so, must you have been? Yeah, I was really, really nervous. Um, and so he would like give me advice on songwriting, and but we really just became friendly. It was just nice to have somebody across the street to hang out with, and um, and then pr a few months into our friendship, he sent me an email that was like, "I'm gonna um, be playing my new single on the Tonight Show. Can you sing backup for me?" <laughs> and I had to read the email about five times before I realized that he was asking. I swear to God, I thought he was asking if I knew someone that could sing backup for him. So, um, but I played it cool. Yeah. I was like, yeah, of course. It's crazy, and like, we're here today. <laughs>